certainly concerned by uh, the speed with which the Taliban has been moving. U.S. troops are rushing to Afghanistan to speed up evacuations for American diplomats and thousands of Afghans in Kabul. This as the Taliban continues to take control of several major cities. The Department of Homeland Security issued a new terrorism advisory tonight. Fox News' Jacqueline Matter joins us now with the latest. Jacqueline. Rob, that terrorism advisory issued as reports come in of possible threats across the country. These threats stemming from the ongoing impacts from renewed COVID-19 restrictions, efforts by foreign influencers to stir up trouble here in the U.S. and the upcoming 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorism attacks. Homeland Security says there are no current attacks that they know of, but it is something they're keeping a close eye on. Meanwhile, the Pentagon providing new information tonight about the ever-changing situation in Afghanistan. Military with the Taliban taking control of more territory as troops head overseas to help evacuate American personnel. The United States calling on the Taliban not to attack the embassy and the U.S. diplomats leaving the region there. This comes as fears intensified that Kabul may fall as the Taliban sweeps up control in at least half of the country's 34 provinces. President Joe Biden also standing by his order to return all U.S. troops from the country by the end of this month. A military advocacy group speaking with Fox 5 saying it remains to be seen what the outcome could bring. We're leaving a country that we've been in for 20 years and the uh, the argument is going to be is that was that a right decision? Did we leave at the right time? We dislodged the Taliban at a time where they were harboring terrorists uh, and we prevented them from from launching attacks into the United States. Whether that continues to be the case uh, is to be determined. Porter went on to say for the millions of veterans who served in Afghanistan in this two decade war, they may be grimacing at the gains made by the Taliban. A lot of them are going to be thinking, uh, is my, did my service matter? They're going to be thinking, did it matter that I sacrificed so many months, so many years of my life, and that my family sacrificed uh, while I was gone? for this to happen. Those officials waiting for help evacuating the embassy now scrambling to destroy sensitive documents and equipment as Afghan refugees also flock to the capital for help. The bulk of those 3,000 troops are expected to arrive by this weekend. Back to you all.